Alright guys, how is it going? This is a very quick tutorial and it's going to show you how to set up Pi menus and we'll take a brief overview. So the first thing you need to do is go to Edit, Preferences, Add-ons and search for Pi. And you can see it here, Interface, 3D Viewport, Pi menus. So we'll just enable it. So it'll give you a whole selection of Pi menus. You can quickly disable them by unchecking them, so you might not necessarily want all of these. And it also gives you the shortcuts. So we'll just take a brief overview. Select our object, the one I like to use is Alt and Space. And that'll bring up Rotate, Translate and Scale. So you just click what one you want. You can also use the numeric keys, so for example Alt and Space and then you press 4, that'll rotate. So you get into this kind of workflow and it does speed your workflow up. Keep in mind the Pi menus are actually context sensitive. So for example when you jump into Sculpting and you press the W key, I'll actually bring up the sculpting tool shortcuts. Another one is Control and S. <laughs> That'll let you save a file. Highly recommend this one. So take a look at the preferences. That'll give you an idea of the Pi menus and it'll also tell you the shortcuts. Now I believe you can change the key binding, so it's up to yourself what key you press. Now another quick one before we go, Control and Tab. So if you select your object, you can see here we can quickly jump into a different menu. So Pi menus. Highly recommend. Thanks for watching. You know what to do. Hit that like and subscribe. Peace.